Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I have another interview for you with Ready to Love Season 4, The Reunion Part 2. What happened between Joel and Vernicia? We're going to talk about it and unpack this. So before we jump into this video, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video, smash the like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. So, yeah, we definitely had some intense moments that we got to talk about here with these two. So, without further ado, let's jump into this video. So, as you guys remember, uh, there were several couples forming this season. We had the uh, coupling with Chris and Amber. There was a couple that formed kind of midway, which was Liz and Jason. But we also had this couple that kind of started off pretty early from what we saw in the progression of the show, which was Venetia and Joe. They even gave us some unseen footage on pretty much how deep their connection uh, really went with each other. And I mean, they were, they looked like they were very smitten by each other. I mean, they seemed like they were into each other, the way that it came across, the energy that was being given. And Venetia was extremely excited by this. I mean, she was the one that had mentioned early in the season that she wanted to be that first woman that had the marriage out of the whole franchise of the show. And of course, what we saw at the end of the season is where Joel wanted to continue to pursue the relationship and continue dating and that they were both ready to love each other, right? That's what we saw. She was definitely accepting and open to it. Um, there was one other thing that happened early in the season with uh, Jason picking Kyra. And I think that right there would have been a sign of things to come because if you were intentional about specifically being with a specific person, that intention of bringing up somebody totally different in that moment changes the trajectory of the whole thing. So now at the reunion, you know, of course, Tommy wants to know, hey, what happened with these two, you know? And, you know, Venetia, she definitely broke it down. And it's interesting, I mean, the distance you can tell before they even opened their mouths where they were. And one of the things Renisha brought up is during the show, they spent so much time together. When they had to talk to media, he would wait for her. They would have breakfast together. They pretty much was almost inseparable from her description. However, two weeks after, everything changed. And it seemed like he distanced himself. Um, she stopped talking to him. And of course, she said that was her choice. But a lot had went down after this. And from the other thing is, she said that they were even sleeping together. And that had also stopped as well. So obviously, you know, I don't know what you know, I, I, you really don't know the intentions in somebody's mind, but Joel, when he mentioned that he wanted to name Kyra as a choice along with three other men, and they got into a whole argument at the retreat about that, that right there should have been telling about the direction of where this could possibly go. The other element in this whole situation is that she was saying that Joel thought that she was a little bit too clingy. And so her thing was she just wanted to know what she, as far as she knew she was in a relationship. Now, whether that conversation happened, and one thing about Tommy, Tommy told him in one of the gentlemen's lounge deliberations that, you know, he got a problem with communication. So I don't know if even Joel clearly stated, hey, are we just kicking it? Are we dating? Are we in a relationship? And with people that want to know what they're, where they stand, 
You need to communicate that. And obviously, Vernisha thought that she was in a relationship. Whereas, two weeks after the show, Joel pretty much made himself appear single. And it's just so unfortunate because of the fact that I kind of wish that maybe she could have maybe explored some of the other relationships. And who knows, there were, maybe there were other dates that Vernisha had. But the other thing that came up is this whole situation with Stacy. So I guess some of the cast members were telling Vernisha that Joel had this whole thing going on behind her back with Stacy. And Stacy was like, and I, there's a video I posted on this channel last night after the reunion aired on Stacy's response to that. So if you want to go check that out, feel free to do so. But Stacy was like, uh, no, sir, no ham, no burger. Uh, no, we are just friends. And then there's this thing about her putting his, her hand on, uh, on his chest and all of that. And you know, that whole thing, she asked, you know, of course, Tommy asked Joel, what's the deal with you and Stacy? And Joel was like, uh, I'm at watch parties. I'm a sociable guy. I just hang out with them. We ain't got nothing going on. And I think even in Stacy's live, she described him as her brother. And that's all I'm going to say, because she talked about a whole lot of other different things. But obviously, you know, Vernicia thought it was way more going on between those two. I've never actually seen a connection from what we saw with Joel and Stacy, but obviously Vernicia saw what she saw, or basically the power of suggestion from whatever she heard from cast members definitely took her down that road because she absolutely thought that something was going on, you know, by him hanging with Chris. And Stacy, or especially Stacy alone, you know, and I mean, I don't know. I've seen the comments on on social media last night, and you know, for the most part, from what I've seen from Vernicia outside of the show, she's this hard worker, entrepreneur, love her kids, she do her that type of thing. I've never seen her in this light, but everybody can have a moment where they're hurt, and she said Joel hurt her. And so, you know, whatever expectation or what she thought obviously didn't match up with Joel. He pulled away and he admittedly pulled away from the situation. And I guess for whatever reason, he thought that she was moving too fast. Now, granted, this is a 10 week process, I think. And so we're talking a two and a half months. And if you include the reunion, maybe three. So, you know, I don't know what his speed was versus what Venetia's speed was, but that's the thing. It takes communication to figure that out. Where are we? What are we doing? Where do we stand? Again, like I said in the other videos with Kyra and Jason, you got to be intentional. Not only choosing that person is being intentional, but also where you stand and what direction you're going. And then there was this other situation where he didn't want... Amber bringing food. I mean, she didn't want Amber bringing him food or vice versa. And I don't know if she felt some kind of way about that. So, it, you know, I don't know if a lot of stuff was edited out, but the way that what, of what was seen by the fans and a lot of fans are talking about that is that it made her seem, I've seen some fans say it made her look insecure like I say, outside of the show, I follow her on Instagram. I've even had conversations with her. You know, it, it doesn't seem that way, but I'm, I'm also not in a relationship with her. And she's going to do a tell-all on um, her IG. So look out for that um, sometime this weekend. Um, I will also share it with you guys on um, this channel because a lot of you I know don't have IG. But... It's just so unfortunate because she got hurt with whatever she thought. And then, of course, he's pretty much like, you know, hey, at this point, and Tommy asked him, do you want to rectify this situation? Do you want to be in a relationship with Venetia? And even Tommy was like, I expected y'all to go the long haul. Now, I don't know why he would say that because, I mean, remember that whole thing with I choose Kyra, everybody, and some of the men in that group 
was giving him the side eye, like, wait a minute, what happened to you and Vernicia? So I don't know why, unless Tommy saw a lot more, of course, behind the scenes than what we saw. But the question is, because remember the conversation with the exes that they had, her ex said that she can be quite possessive and clingy and, you know, want to move too fast and things like that. And of course, you know, Venetia shot that down. No, that's not who I am. I'm intentional. I let people know where I want, where I stand, where I think we're going. But the problem, I guess, is that both people have to be on that same page. And if both persons are not on the same page, you're going to have this right here. Because he wants to take his time or whatever his version was, which a lot of folks I've seen saying that he probably wasn't 100% there. He did it to get through the show. And if that's the case, that is so unfortunate because you don't want to do that to someone who have feelings for you and think that you're going to take the long haul or the long road with them. As for Venetia, the question remains, a lot of folks are saying, did she move too fast? Was she being clingy and possessive? I mean, did she think she was in a full relationship when he didn't make that intention known? So that's where the disconnect comes in. These two folks are on two different pages. Or one wanted to speed up and the other one wanted to slow down. And in fact, at this point, Joel slowed down. And then we did see the after scene where Diedrich is trying to get her to, hey, if you want to say this relationship, go after him, you know, talk to him. You know, you know, he's just scared uh, all of this. Now, the question remains with Diedrich, does he know something more? Did Joe tell him about his feelings? You know, I don't know. But, you know, Diedrich definitely tried to, you know, see if Venetia can rectify, you know, the relationship. And, you know, I mean, hey, like I say, we only know so much versus what the cast members know, you know, uh, behind the scenes. So, you know, Venetia's on the, she's doing big things. She's just opened up her new beauty bar. Um, she got a other, a whole lot of other projects coming up and going on. So she's going to be just fine and she's going to find her person at this point. It's just not Joel and whoever Joel is going to find his person is out there too. So I hope you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.